patience. The example of our Lord, as he humbly and calmly takes the rebuff and turns to go to another village, may help us in the ordinary ways of ordinary daily life. The little things that vex us in the manner or the words of those with whom we have to do. The things which seem to us so inconsiderate or willful or annoying that we think it impossible to get on with the people who are capable of them. The mistakes which no one, we say, has any right to make. The shallowness or conventionality or narrowness or positiveness in talk which makes us wince and tempts us towards the cruelty and wickedness of scorn. Surely in all these things, and in many others like them, of which conscience may be ready enough to speak to most of us, there are really opportunities for thus following the example of our Savior's great humility and patience. How many friendships we might win or keep, how many chances of serving others we might find, how many lessons we might learn, how much of unsuspected moral beauty might be disclosed around us, if only we were more careful to give people time, to stay judgment, to trust that they will see things more justly, speak of them more wisely, after a while. We are sure to go on closing doors of sympathy and narrowing in the interests and opportunities of work around us, if we let ourselves imagine that we can quickly measure the capacities and sift the characters of our fellow men. Studies in the Christian Character Bishop Paget.